we're going to look at something similar but not identical to your cookie solving problem. First I'm going to create my new Python file and we're going to call it pounds and then I'm going to hide this so we can just sort of look. So I'm going to start with comments. At the beginning of the program if you do three quotes you can just do this big block comment. This works at the beginning to describe what the program is about. So this program is going to convert pounds to kilograms. And we want to note that one pound equals 0.4535923 kilograms. So how are we going to work with this? We're going to we're going to need to um, set some variables and we're going to need to get information from the user. So let's get started. So we're going to need our conversion amount and that's going to be uh, and we, we can just call it kilograms equals 0.4535923. And once a new line at the end of the file, you should be sort of checking this as you go so you get check marks. If you, something goes wrong, fix it right away. So that's our variable. And we should put some sort of comment. I mean, we do have it up at the top, but this is setting conversion variable amount. So for each pound we have, it'll be 0.4535529523 kilograms. So I actually like to test this um, before I get user input by just testing it with something. So we're going to say that we have, uh, we're going to simply print, um, we'll do 10 times kilograms. And that should give us how many pounds per kilogram. And let's see what happens here. Now we have an error here. I shouldn't have a white space. Check, check, check. Always make sure. Check mark. Good to go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let's run this. Four point five three five nine two three. Okay, that's appropriate. It's just moving it over one, and that should be correct. Now it's a good idea if you want to check this on some sort of other standard place. Convert ten pounds to kilograms, and this is correct. And I'm starting with these simple things because that should prove correct. So it should work the same if we're doing fifty three. We should be able to run it and we should be able to test it out here in a known working environment and bingo it's close but not identical but it's close enough for our precision value okay so i solved this one step at a time so we know that we've got the precision correct so the next thing we need to do is we need to have it format properly so we're going to use our format statement and we need to make sure we get our Parentheses correct. And we want it to be 0.2f. That'll give us two points of precision and tell it that it's a float. And let's test it again. Okay, that is not giving the results that I wanted. So let's make that a new variable. Let's do pounds equals 53 times kilogram. Now let's just do format. P 
bounds. And you need to sort of solve these incrementally. And what I need to do is get rid of this and put the second parentheses here. And everybody makes mistakes. I've been working in JavaScript in this, so, my, so I will make syntax errors. There you go. So that gives me the formatting that I'm looking for. Great. So what we actually want to do is ha calculate this by getting input from the user. So we're going to have um, So our pounds actually should be input, and we need to change it to a float because they could put they could put it in as a float input. Enter the number of pounds. Okay, and then we're going to have. kilos equal to pounds by our kilogram. Let's do that again. So I'm going to put in 150. Okay, so I have an error here. So, ah, because I need this to be kilos. And again, I'm making mistakes. And I make mistakes partly because I'm tired and partly because I'm working in two different languages. I should get the green check mark at the top, and you just test one line at a time, and you want to make sure that the answer is reasonable. There, 